Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use music XML files with Reaper. Now, music XML files are the standard open format for exchanging digital sheet music. So they're very useful if using composing software like MuseScore or NoteFlight, and you want to export it and use those MIDI files in Reaper. But they're also very useful for downloading popular or very useful songs using their sheet music, and then importing them into Reaper to mess around with or use them in your productions. So let's start off by searching music XML files right here. And you'll probably wind up on this website right here, musicxml.com, where it goes into how these files work, but it'll also show us where to download free digital sheet music right over here. We can go to this website called musescore.com and find a bunch of sheet music we could download and use in Reaper. So let's check out a few of them. We'll start off by choosing piano, and then Easy Piano, and we can download right over here, Pachelbel Canon in D, which is a very famous song, as you'll hear. So we'll click it, and we can hear it right on the website by hitting the play button. But that sound doesn't sound so good. So let's download it and bring it into Reaper. We'll go right here to download, and choose the format. We're going to choose Music XML, and it'll download that file to your downloads folder. So let's go back to Reaper and go to our hard drive into your downloads folder and find the file here. Then all we have to do is drag it into Reaper. Let's select it and drag it right over here by where the tracks are and drop it. And it's going to import the MIDI tempo of that song along with the tracks. There's only one track for this one, but in order to hear it, we need to add a sound module or plugin to this track. So let's go to the track effects on this track. I'm gonna to go to instruments and find a plugin that I downloaded called Piano One, which is a free one I found on the internet, right over here on the Sound Magic website. So we'll add this, and if we hit play, we should hear that song on this piano. And we do. Now we could adjust it in Reaper. For instance, it's a bit too loud right now. It sounds like it's playing too hard. So we can go to the MIDI item right here and go to the top, see how the cursor changes, and just drag it down to a softer velocity. Now it's also a bit fast. We could slow it down by changing the tempo. Just double click right here and change it from 120 to 100. Now, if we want to see the notes, just double click the item and we'll see all the notes in a piano roll where the notes show up here lined up with our piano. Or we could see them as an event list right here. Or even see them as notation right here. And we could change the notes right from here. Or transpose them. If we hit the T key on the keyboard, we could transpose it right from here. So now instead of Pocket Bell Canon in D, it's in C sharp. Or in C.
So we can completely adjust it inside Reaper. Like we could layer the sound with other sounds. Let's add a string sound to this. I'll go to my effects chains and my strings. And now I'll hear the strings and the piano at the same time. And I can even add more parts on top. Let's duplicate this track by right clicking it. Go to duplicate tracks. Then we could delete the MIDI on this track. Go to the input, input MIDI. Go to my USB MIDI keyboard. Turn on input monitoring and put it into record. And I should have the same sound on my MIDI keyboard. And I do. So I could play along or record along and change the melody how I want. And just like that, I can mess around with this song, edit my own parts at any point. Let's try to import a different song. Let's go back to that website. We'll search on the piano and choose Piano Duets and choose this file right here, which sounds like this. We'll download it right here in Music XML format. Go back to Reaper, go to our Downloads folder, and here's that file. Just drag it in, drop it. It's going to expand two MIDI tracks and import the tempo. So we'll put a piano on each of them. I'll go to my effects chains on the pianos and choose piano one and drag this to both tracks, which sounds like this. Again, it's a bit too loud. That's better. And if we go to bar 20, it sounds like this. It's pretty straight, but we could add in a different flavor by doing this. Let's double click it, go to the MIDI piano roll, and quantize it differently. Right here. Instead of eighth notes straight, We could add in some swing right here. Before. So we could change up these parts very easily. Just for fun, we're messing around. Let's add one more that I want to search. We'll go back to that website. And keep in mind, there's a lot of websites that share this sheet music in this format. But let's search right up here, a song called True Colors. There's a bunch of different versions to choose from. Let's scroll down under number of instruments under three. So this file has three parts, a tenor sax, a trombone, and a B-flat trumpet. But we don't have to use those instruments. We could download it and import it to Reaper and change it up. So let's download it. Again, using the file format, music, XML, go back to Reaper and our downloads folder and drag in that file. It's going to expand three MIDI tracks and the tempo. 
which looks like this. But now let's add our own instruments to our taste. For the trumpet, let's choose a piano pad. I'll right click, go to my effects chains, and choose pianos, piano pad 2, which is a piano sound I saved with a piano and a pad. We can readjust the level or the velocity. Let's add some strings in place of the tenor sax. Then for the trombone, I'm going to switch it for a Mellotron flute that I created using a bunch of samplers from Resample-O-Matic 5000. So it sounds like this. And it looks like this. So we can change the sounds, the tempo, the velocity, or even change the notes or add notes on top at any point in the production, at any time. It's a lot of fun to work with and download the sheet music in this file format, or if you're working in another program, you could export it this easily into Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's music XML files in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.